Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, I'm going to work with a global search. I'm going to show you how to enable and how to customize that. Here I have a project. This is a demo project we have also in the filament documentation website and I have cloned in my machine. Now global search allow you to search across all of your resource records from anywhere in the app. Here we are in the posts and I'm going to work with post categories and authors in this video. Now to enable the global search on your model, you must set the title attribute for your resource. So let's open the VS code and here we are, I am inside the post resource and to enable the global search we need to add the protected static string dollar sign record title attribute and I set this to title. Now this attribute is used to retrieve the search result title for this record. If I save that and come here and refresh, here is the global search and for example let's search for this uh, post, uh, this is the title, so I'm going to say just set here and yeah as you can see here is the list of uh, posts which match this uh, title. Now your resource needs to have a edit or a view page to allow the global search results to link the URL. Otherwise, it's going to hide that. So if I come here and let's say I want to, I'm going to comment the edit and view page and let's save. Let's come here and refresh. And if I search again for said, no search results. Okay, you need to have the edit or a view page. So if I say just the edit, it's going to work. And say again, said. Yeah, here we are. Okay, let's uncomment this again back like this. And now uh, you may customize the title attribute by overriding the get global search results title method. Okay, here we have the methods. I'm going to uncomment this. And right now, here we say public static function get global search results title. Accept the model. And here I have returned the record slack. Okay. So when we search for set, it's going to return of the slug as you can see. It's going to search on a title, but it's going to return what we return here. So let's return the created add for example and if we come and refresh and search again for set as you can see now we have a created that so what you return here is going to or return also I'm going to comment this because I am okay with the title and now let's see the get global searchable attributes now if you like to search across multiple columns of your resource you may override this method. So let's uncomment this. The public static function can get globally searchable attributes which return an array of a uh, column. So we have title, slack, author name and category name. Now the dot notation allow you to search inside relationship. So it's going to search also in the name of author and in the name of category. Now let's save this. Uh, first, let's un let let's comment and just show you. If I come here and refresh, and I have here category and author, let's search for Chris. Yeah, right now we have no search results found, but if I uncomment this method, and it's going to search in the author name and also in the category name, and refresh, and search it again for Chris. Yeah, now we have all the posts belong to that author. Also, if we search for this uh, category name, so let's say Omnis. Yeah, here we have now the posts belong to this category. Now, uh, let's see again. As you can see here, we have all only the title. If we want, we can add extra details to search results. So let's come here and let's uh, override the get global search 
result details. Okay, this one. So I'm going to uncomment this and accept the model and it's going to return an array. First we set the details table with an empty array and if the record author is so if the record has the author it's going to return details author to be a record author name and the same for the category and then it's going to return the details. If I save that, come here and refresh and let's search again for the title set and as you can see now we have author and category. So let's comment this, save, and refresh and search again set. Now we have only the category here. I'm going to uncomment this again. Now as you can see in this example the category and author of the record will be displayed below its title in the search results. However, the category and the author relationship will be lazy loaded, which will result in poor results performance. Now to eager load these relationships, we must override the get global search eloquent query. So let's uncomment this. And we say, we say here, parent of a get global search eloquent query with author and category. Now also we can customize the URLs so the global search result will link to the edit page of your resource. So if I come here and uh, refresh this again and just let's search for set and if I click here we are going to navigate to the edit page as you can see. But if you want to customize you may override the get global search results URL. So let's come here and let's create that method function and the name is get global search result URL which accept the model and is going to return the string. So let's say return and I'm going to say the post resource get URL and I'm going to get for example the edit the view. So let's say here the view where the record is this record. And if I save this and come here and refresh, now we have a view page. So if I come up, here's the view page, as you can see. And if I come and refresh and search again for this title, and now if I click, we navigate to the view page. Okay? Good. Now you can add actions also so let's say a public function public static function and the name of the function the add action is get a global search result action so get global actions with accept also a model and it's going to return an array so let's say return an array and here I'm going to add the action. So I'm going to say action make edit is going to make an edit action. So URL static get URL edit and record this record we have here. Now if I close and save this, oh yeah, we need to import the action from a filament global search actions action like this. And let's save. Now if I come here and refresh and let's search again for set. Yeah, when if I click here, it's going to navigate the view page. And let's go back and search again for set. Now we have also the edit link. If I click, we navigate to the edit link here. Now also you can uh, open this in a new tab. So here, for example, we can add the, as we can see here, should open in new tab. And let's add that, which is going to be true right now. And if I save, and refresh and let's say set again and if I click it's going to open in a new tab but I'm going to remove all of this I'm going to comment sorry now if I save and just let's come here and say uh, refresh first and if I say just T as we can see we have too many 
pause here but you can limit this by come here and specify how many results you want so after the title i'm going to say protected static and now we need a integer property so let's say integer and the name of the property is dollar sign global search result results limit to be equal for example with a 10 or let's say 5 so if I say 5 now and come here and refresh again and just type t now we have only 5 uh, results ok 1 2 3 4 and this 5 ok now also you can for example you can uh, disable this by uh, if you have uh, set the record title attribute in many resources you can disable by opening the provider providers filament admin panel provider and here i'm going to change one more method which is the global search okay and here i'm going to say false if i save now and let's come here and refresh now we don't have a global search okay now if i say true it's okay but this is the same as we remove this method also now you can also register the global search key binding right now we need to navigate the mouse here but if we want we can say here change the method global search so let's say global search key binding and i'm going to paste here the command k for the mac and control k for the windows now if i save and go here and refresh as you can see just if i type the command k we go to the search and we can search for t for example okay friends that's it all about the global search in filament how to enable and how to customize how we want if you like such a video friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much